I work with the EdTech Hub and I co-lead on our portfolio of work in Kenya, which includes the research that we conduct um, and the work that we do to make sure that that research gets into the right hands, be it development partners, governments, or entrepreneurs. I think I'll go back to what Dr. Might said. I think the opportunity that, that's really attractive for me is co-creation and research being the vehicle through which the people on the ground that are utilizing um, the interventions that we're trying to deploy can have a voice in how we design our interventions. I think another thing that's key is oftentimes when you're the implementer, you don't, you don't know too much about the education or the pedagogy side of things. And so I feel like that's another area where research helps to inform the innovation and the tech with you know, um, evidence that can make it work for whoever it is that we're trying to design for. Um, I'm now, so I'm partnerships lead at One Billion, um, and we're a non-profit developer of uh, comprehensive ed tech solutions for children learning to read and write. Um, we see research as absolutely critical for bringing change, um, and a few things that occur to me. One really at a very early stage is to validate that um, that the solution is is worth pursuing at all, or should it just be thrown away and <laughs> start again? And then I think as you know, as we continue as software developers to develop the solution, research has been really important for evaluating whether and how that solution delivers uh, most effectively as we continue to iterate it and test new implementation models. And I would say that um, the best time, the little optimal time, is at the conceptualization stage. I say this because uh, there are certain research methods and approaches that would require an intervention or a design be designed in a certain way. So if those kind of research approaches that you want to use uh, dictate that the design moves in a certain way so that you are able to have a rigorous evaluation, then the conceptualization uh, stage becomes uh, the optimal time to engage. Keep your researchers close, so develop a relationship with, the, with research that allows you to learn from them, even as they learn from you as, you as you implement, but then also embrace experimentation, especially if, as you said, um, Nat, if you're thinking of moving from skill to massive skill, there's a lot of things that you need to understand along the journey, a lot of things you need to tweak as you go along um, to ensure that whatever it is you're trying to solve for is solved in, an, you know, in a way that's also sustainable and equitable.